All right, good morning, everybody. Welcome back to Health. Uh, check the board for today's date, and um, our topic today is bullying. So we just finished watching a video about bullying, and now we need to get some notes down in our notebook. Uh, no warm-up today, so you can go ahead and skip that um, part of today's assignment. So you can go straight to your notes, and we're gonna get started so that we can get through this. All right, bullying. <clears throat> Writing down the definition of bullying. Bullying is harassment emotionally or physically that occurs on a repeated basis. So we just watched the video um, of talking of people who are bullies, talking about their experience um, and what it feels like to be a bully. Um, and what those bullies do is they harass somebody emotionally or physically, and it's repeated. Okay, so bullying is not something that is a one-time thing. Bullying is not something that's like messing around with your friends or just teasing with your friends. It is something that is ongoing, repeated, and it makes the other person feel bad. It hurts them physically. It hurts them socially. It hurts them emotionally. All of those, any of those. Okay, so that is what bullying is. So get that definition written down. Okay, a bully is a person who can be mean, cruel, or physically abusive, especially to younger, smaller, or less popular people. So it doesn't always have to be somebody that's younger. It could be someone that's smaller or someone that you just feel like is less popular. Um, a bully is someone who looks for that weak individual who's maybe um, not as confident, not as um, bold in their uh, attitude or as bold in their behaviors as others. And they intentionally pick on that person, whether they are just mean by saying mean things or they're mean by excluding them or laughing at them or making fun of them or they're mean by spreading rumors or telling lies about them. They might also be physically abusive, pushing them down, taking their things, um, like saying, oh, you're gonna give me your lunch every day, I'm gonna take your chips, you should bring me a bag of chips every single day. That person is a bully, okay? So what, if that's something that you do, you might need to look at your behaviors and your actions and how you're treating other people, okay? Um, so younger, smaller, less popular people um, tend to be picked on by people who feel like they can make them feel bad. So a bully tries to make other people feel bad. A bully tries to feel better about themselves by putting other people down. Types of bullying, and this was in the video. So there's physical bullying, hitting, punching, kicking, tripping, spitting, etc. You guys know what physical stuff looks like. Um, so that's one type, constantly tripping someone in the hallway, that's bullying. Walking by someone in the hallway and bumping into them, that's bullying. Pulling their book bags, hitting their hats off, that's all physical bullying, okay? Then you have emotional or mental bullying. So this is name calling, intimidating, making fun of someone, laughing at someone. Um, this is really attacking someone's self-esteem attacking how they feel about themselves, calling someone ugly, telling someone they don't have nice hair or that they have the wrong shoes or the wrong clothes, okay? Intimidating someone, like if you don't let me see your homework, I'm gonna tell everybody this lie or this rumor about you. That's a bully, okay? Um, if you're intimidating them as far as you better not talk to that boy or I'm going to punch you or I'm going to hit you, that's emotional. You didn't actually punch or hit the person, but you're intimidating them. That's being a bully. Okay, That's mental and emotional bullying. You better not come over here with your friends or we're going to do this to you. That's intimidation. Okay, um, So that's the mental, emotional side, messing with people's minds, making them feel bad about themselves, making them think um, that they should be afraid of you. That's a mental or emotional bully. And then social um, bullying is the same as the relational bullying that they talk about in the video. It's excluding others, ignoring them, getting up and leaving, that should say and, getting up and leaving the lunch table when someone sits down, spreading false rumors, 
telling others not to be someone's friend. That's all relational or social bullying. Getting the rest of the people in your class, the rest of the people in the sixth grade to ignore or laugh at or exclude someone. That's messing with their relationships. That's relational bullying or social bullying. And it's probably the most common type of bullying that occurs. Um, really think about trying to be the nice kid. Like you are hurting someone else's feelings. You are bringing someone else's, someone else down. And the only reason that you would wanna do that is to make you feel better, to make you feel like you're big and you're important and you're popular and you can make other people feel bad. You need to take a strong look at yourself if you're purposely hurting someone else's feelings. And I would hope that none of you would ever wanna be that person. Don't be that person that makes other people feel bad just because, okay? It's not cool, it's not funny, it does not make you a good person, it is not gonna serve you well in life. Okay. Last type is cyberbullying. Cyberbullying is the same as a social or relational bullying, it just happens on the internet, okay? Posting rude or mean comments, pictures, etc., about someone on the internet creating false accounts, um, under that person's name and posting pictures that are not uh, appropriate or are not things that they would post. So any type of thing that you would do on the internet would be considered cyberbullying. And most of that would include relational or social bullying. Um, it might also include mental emotional bullying, um, especially if you're making mean and rude comments underneath someone's pictures or telling someone they're so ugly or things like that. Um, in the video, it talked about um, saying, um, why don't you just go kill yourself? And that is something that should never be said. Um, that is something that you can get in legal trouble for. Um, and obviously, I, hopefully, you would feel absolutely terrible if you did say to someone, you should just go kill yourself, and they actually did. Um, but legally, you can get in trouble for that. That is something that has happened, and the person went to jail for saying that. And um, so... It is absolutely probably one of the worst things that you can say to somebody else. It is hurtful. It is never appropriate. Um, if someone has said that to you, you need to report them immediately. Um, report it to a trusted adult. Talk to someone. It is not something that would be tolerated, should ever be tolerated. It should not be said. Um, so please keep that in mind. Okay, the video did not go over how to handle a bully. So if you are being bullied, how do you handle it? What do you do? Um, this is a really tricky situation. This is something that's really tough and really difficult. And this is where as a friend to someone who's being bullied, you can really help. So you can report it for that person. You can be there for that person. You can not be a bystander and just watch. You can actually say, hey, you know what? Stop. Like, you're not funny. You're not being kind. Just quit. Leave us alone. It's okay to stand up for yourself. Use the assertive communication that we talked about yesterday. Be present, be focused, be bold. Talk right to the person, look, look, you're not being kind. I do not appreciate what you're saying and you need to stop. Plain and simple, flat out. No emotion, no tears, no quivering, no shying away. Straight out, I'm not taking this anymore. You need to quit, okay? Um, you don't want to get physical. You don't want to get aggressive. You're not yelling. You're calm. You're assertive. Okay. So those are some things that you can do. Um, if you see bullying happening or if you are being bullied, you can also be assertive yourself and say, no more. I'm done. Okay. Here's some other suggestions that I want you to have written down in your notebook. Um, okay. So obviously tell an adult. That's first and that's easiest, um, tell a trusted adult, talk to your school counselor, talk to your parents, talk to a teacher. I know that doesn't seem like it helps sometimes to tell a teacher and they're like, oh, okay, I'll watch out for it. Keep telling them, okay? If you tell them repeatedly, ask them, please watch for this. They are constantly taking my pencil. They are constantly hitting me in the back of the head. They are constantly asking to see my homework. Tell the adult exactly what's happening and ask them to look for it, especially the teacher in the classroom. Watch for this person doing these things. It's really bothering me, okay? Um, keep after the teacher if they say, oh, okay, 
ask them again, tell them again, keep, um, keep up with telling them so that they really take an interest in helping, okay? Um, move on to a school counselor if their teacher is not helping. Make sure you tell your parents. They can help give you advice. Be assertive. Ask the bully to stop. Say, hey, I'm not doing this anymore. You're being unkind. I don't like what you're saying, and you need to grow up. You need to just stop, okay? Um, I know that one's a difficult one, but that is an option, okay? Ignoring them and don't overreact to what they are saying. Ignoring them works a little bit. I'm not saying that you should ignore somebody that is constantly taking your lunch or ignore somebody who is constantly, you know, hitting you. That's not something to ignore. But if they're just making little comments that you can roll your eyes at and just shrug off, that might be the best way. Don't let them feel like they're getting to you, okay? When they feel like they have that power, they're going to keep doing it. When they see they're making you angry and they're annoying you and they're bothering you, that gives them that power. That makes them feel like they're in charge and they want to keep doing it. So try to just shrug it off. If it's continuous and over and over and over and over and over and you just can't take it anymore, you need to report it. Okay, you need to start being more assertive, but ignoring it can be beneficial, especially at the beginning stages of the bullying. Don't let them see that they're getting to you. Don't let them see they're affecting you. Um, don't get angry. Don't start crying. Um, try to keep your emotions in check. And I know that's difficult, but that can sometimes ward off the bully from the beginning. Okay. All right. <clears throat> Deleting your social media accounts. That is... Um, something that is so easy and just removes you completely from any of that social media scene. I have had so many students um, that are now in seventh or eighth grade or even in high school that are like, that was the best advice. Like not even being on social media, just not even having that drama has helped reduce the bullying in my life so much. It's taken out all of the drama, it's taken out all the rumors, all the lies, all the mean comments. Um, people are a lot braver on the internet than they are in person. So they're going to be a lot more mean. They're going to be a lot more willing to say rude things and type in rude comments and do um, things they shouldn't be doing on the internet than they are in real life. So if you remove yourself completely from that situation, you don't even know it's happening. You don't even need to be worried about it. You're not even concerning yourself with that anymore. So that's a great thing to do. Try to avoid the situation. Now, I'm not saying avoid the bully altogether, but if you know they're always in this hallway at this time, go a different direction or walk that way with a friend or ask a teacher to walk that way with you. Um, so if you can avoid being with that person or at that same time with the person, avoid it, okay? If you know that they are late getting out to the bus every day, you try to be early getting out to the bus every day or they're late getting into the locker room every day. Try to be the first one in there, get dressed and get out. Okay, so try to avoid the situation as much as you can. Try not to put yourself with that person. Um, try to just kind of steer clear of them. They will find somebody else and um, so hopefully they won't find anyone else and won't keep bullying, but um, hopefully they will steer clear of you if you're steering clear of them. Okay. Okay. Do use assertive language and body language when dealing with a bully. Don't be passive or aggressive when addressing the bully. So calm, focused, straight ahead. This is what I want. This is what we're doing. You are not going to be treating me this way, okay? Um, but you're not aggressive. You're not screaming at them. You're not fighting with them. You're not yelling and looking like a crazy person. But you're also not passive. You are not letting this happen. Okay, you're not being shy about it. You're not just giving up your lunch. You're not just giving up your homework every day. No, these things are not happening. Okay, so use assertive body language too. Don't look down. Don't look away. Don't be fiddling with your hair or twitching. Straight ahead, bold, confident body language, bold, confident language. Okay, and if you do know someone that's being bullied, stand up for them, listen to them, encourage them. Tell them this isn't going to last forever. You are a good person. Don't let that person get you down, okay? Be there for them. Don't let it happen. Listen. Be a friend. Be a good person. Be the kind kid. Talk about that a lot, okay? Um, I'm going to go ahead and let you skip the wrap-up questions today um, since we had a lot to get through. Um, 
and we will pick back up with things tomorrow. If you finish this, you may start working on your assignment from yesterday. All right, guys, have a good day.